everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 512. I'm Nate Moore. I spoke at a conference last week about building sustainable, customized reports in your practice. Four hours, half-day conference, all kinds of information about how to make sustainable, customized reports work in the average medical practice. This coming week, I'm going to speak on-site with a, a practice. Two days, their spreadsheets, their data, their issues, and really trying to make them a lot more efficient. If I can do the same thing on-site at your practice, I'd love to help you. I want to talk about layers in 3D maps and tours in 3D maps. And to make all that work, I want to step back in this Excel video and get more than one set of data to play with inside 3D maps. In the past, we've just had one data set and we've been able to play it and do a bunch of things with it. Here's how to get multiple data sets available in one 3D map tour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have three tables here, one called CMS data, another called referrals with time, a third called population. They're formatted. From the home tab, I formatted them as a table. If you go to the click inside the table and go to design, you'll see I've given each of the tables names. Let's go to insert 3D map, open 3D maps, and then what we'll do is we'll build a new tour. This is the tour we've been playing with. Let's do a new tour. And we'll just start from scratch, if you will. And notice what happens when I do it. I get a table here called CMS sample, and Excel builds me a layer. and while we're on our way here, we are just going to rename that layer CMS sample, if for nothing else to keep it straight and you can see what I'm up to. So now what I want to do is let's minimize the map. Let's come back to here. And then let's click on the next set of data. And when I click 3D map here, it'll say, oh, you've already got 3D maps open. I get a new option here, add selected data to 3D maps. And notice I'm not selecting all the data. I'm just inside the table. And because it's a table, Excel smart enough to recognize, hey, that's a table, and now I have another data set. Let's minimize this called referrals with time. And we'll rename this referrals with time. Two down. Let's do one more just because we can. We'll come back over here to population. I'm inside the table, 3D map, add selected data. And now that we're here, let me format this to fit the screen. So you can see what on earth I'm up to. There we go. So we'll minimize that, minimize that. Now I have zip population. There's my third layer. Let's rename this just so you can see what I'm doing. And now if I do this, now you can see I've got three layers on my map, three different visualizations, three different maps going on, and I can start to play with it. The thing you need to understand is this is my CMS sample layer from this data set. And if I want to, I could do referred by, referred to, not referred. Let's, I could add referred to and make that the height, and that works. But if I want to take a field from, let's say, referrals with time, and I want this referral field to come in, notice it doesn't work. I can't mix and match data from other tables yet. If you want to mix and match data from other tables, what you can do is you can come over to the data tab and you can manage the data model. And here's my three tables in the Excel data model. It's been quite a few Excel videos since we talked about the Excel data model, but we're going to spend a lot more time on it in future Excel videos. Here's the first table, the second table, the third table. Right now, there are not any relationships between them. And so if we, let's close this for a minute. If we come over here, we could build relationships and say this zip code from here represents that zip code from there. We could build some relationships between the tables. And if we did that, then if we came over to the map, we could mix and match between the data sets. We're not there yet, and we don't need to be there for what we're going to do. For what we are going to do next, we have all the data we need. It's all in one place. We can do multiple layers. We can build a tour. And we'll start that in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.